promotion. So this part I find uh, incredibly interesting. So SAP is a very well-known brand within the consumer or within the enterprise sphere. And so anywhere you look, if you see SAP, you should be able to see SAP um, branded this way with these colors, um, there's fonts, there's, we pay very particular attention to how we position SAP in the market as an enterprise brand. And the interesting thing here um, to note is how we decided to go to market with Recalls Plus. So I put some uh, marketing assets, branding assets that we chose um, for Recalls Plus. And as you can see, they are very different than SAP's. In the consumer sphere, some folks are like SAP who? You know, they know Apple, they know Microsoft, but SAP is not as well known. So that was also a reason why we chose to go with the, um, a, a totally different, and we were free to go with a totally different um, branding approach. So again, we had a simple tagline, make a list, get alerts, keep your kids safe. And so we talk about our promotion. So the interesting thing is that the majority of new parents are actually between the ages of 20 to 34 and which nicely corresponds to a large segment of the population who use social media. So we decided that um, because this app was free, and remember the whole um, ROI thing I said about promotion and about how you, before you even do your promotion you should know what, what your success is. So success for us was user adoption. So remember when I talked to about managed mobility and how we were very, very focused on educating our sales force and building upon customer successes. When you, when you um, market a mobile app, you're not gonna say, oh, Joe downloaded our app, let's exploit Joe. Well, no, you want numbers. You're not about like building upon one, one, one. So what we did was we did a lot of what we call demand gen leading people to the website or to the app store to download our app and building awareness for this application. So we use social media, uh, we actually secured, you know, the usual, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter and YouTube. Um, the important thing I think to, to learn, that we learned as an enterprise going into the consumer uh, mobile app marketing sphere is that user acquisition is hard. And it's expensive, even for a free app, and even for SAP with a huge um, marketing presence. Any of these social media channels that you guys decide to use, uh, keeping your users engaged is hard. And um, it takes a, an incredible amount of effort. Uh, it may be easy just to sign up for a Facebook account or a, a Twitter feed, but actually thinking of the content that you're gonna put out every day and, and not missing a day and making sure that content is fresh and like I don't know if there's there probably is an expression out there content is king and it really is with social media so know that if you're going to engage in any of these you better have a plan as to you know how you're going to use that channel how often you're going to put out content what that content's going to look like so we spend a lot of time you know a lot of planning time creating um, calendars basically content calendars of what we're going to put out what our messages are. The other important thing that I think is important with social media channels, especially when you're marketing something, people don't want to read a tweet that says, download my app. Mm -hmm. The whole part is about um, creating a community. So if, remember our persona, our persona was on the go moms. What do on the go moms, what do they want to hear about related to Twitter? So it's almost like you create a community around central um, focus areas that on-the-go moms are really interested in, in hearing about and then they start associating your brand, Recalls Plus, and then they're like, oh, I should probably check out that app. It's almost a secondary thought, but it, it takes a lot of effort to do that. And I think that as marketers, we're so used to cramming product down people's throats, they don't want that at all. So when we did Pinterest, um, we actually, so we posted pictures of recalls. Of all the products that were recalled, all the, um, all the food items that were recalled and then at the end of the year we were able to have we had all the content in pictures of all the recalled items in the US. Like that's kind of cool that content that we were able to create with social media and it wasn't necessarily all about hey here's screenshots of our apps let's put them in Pinterest. It, it, was, a, it was related to the app and the features of it but it was done in a secondary way. Um, Twitter, uh, we use Twitter a lot to 
Um, talk about obviously recall notices, but talk about things that on the go moms are interested in, in technology, right? So we're all about building out those interests in the persona. The biggest ROI that we found from doing this was um, actually being on the Apple what's hot list when we launched. So how do you do that, right? Like everyone wants to know. We were lucky as SAP, we have obviously really great connections with enterprise customers and partners and, and folks and, and so, and being having a large presence in Silicon Valley. Um, we were able to get on um, the Apple's editorial agenda just by through relationship building and you, bringing attention to the fact like, hey, we're building this really cool app. It's gonna be coming out soon. What do you think about it? So any way that you can reach out and find those key contacts, I think would be uh, incredibly valuable because it was through that uh, feature uh, on the what's hot list that we were able to get basically hundreds of downloads a day um, versus you know like little splits and spurts based on certain campaigns. So that's one um, interesting note. So SAP, we're really big, right? We're lucky to be such a large corporation. So we actually have 65,000 employees. So we have an interesting internal market that we can market to. So we actually spent some time doing some internal promotion. So we had a really nice, we have an internal portal. So we did a cool portal article. We, we sent out um, blurbs and newsletters. Uh, um, so that actually helped their numbers as well. So always looking, sometimes you look at markets that you wouldn't even think about and, and and that was one of them, actually. Um, we, you know, we were able to take our mobile app to enterprise software events that we were already present at, so Orlando. Um, we had a Yahoo Answers knowledge partner site. Um, so we did some uh, interesting things with social media. And the other interesting thing uh, I, th I think I want to point out as well. Now, we don't have sound, so it might be hard, but I actually have a video, and I want so I already talked a little bit about the branding. So this will kind of give you uh, an appreciation, I think, for how different this market was we were going after and how differently we chose to, to market it and brand it. So this is going to be a video. Uh, this is an SAP video. This is uh, an SAP branded video, typically how we brand SAP to our enterprise customers. Okay, so that kind of gives you a high level feel for SAP. So now I'm gonna show you a really cool video um, that the team out of Palo Alto put together for Recalls Plus. As you can see, very different from how we chose to market our uh, enterprise um, brand. But we had to, right? It was a different market we were going after um, and different markets require different approaches.